For those of you who are new to this channel, or haven't been here very long, I want to explain the main purpose for this channel. All puzzles solved here are solved without writing candidates, or in other words, without using pencil marks. I've found that solving puzzles this way is challenging and also makes you look at the puzzle differently than if you made notes. I like solving this way and I hope this helps you by giving you different techniques and patterns that you haven't used before. You can find descriptions for the patterns and techniques I use here on sudokuprimer.com. This is another PAP publishing puzzle, number 91 from volume 31. This puzzle is interesting because there's a point where double column elimination helps us get past a hard point. We use a number of patterns and techniques to make this expert puzzle easy to solve. First of all, like usual, we uh, find a couple uh, easy numbers. Now, um, this one isn't as easy. We've got a set of twins here because we've got a 1 and a 9 in this column. So these are 1 and 9. That leaves 3 and 4 here, which we can solve because of that 3 there. All right, and now that we've solved this this four here. We got a four here and ghost fours here. So the four here in box eight has to go right there. And now we have four, 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 four. So that's a four right there. All right, now I noticed a set of twins here also. Five, nine there, five, nine there. So these are five and nine right here. With that nine, we can solve them. All right, let's look at row three here. Let's see what we're missing. Three, six, seven, and eight. Well, there's a seven right there because of these two sevens. And there's a three and a three there, so that's a three right there. And there's an 8, so we can put the 6 and 8 in. Not too bad so far. All right, now we've only got two numbers left here, 6 and 8. So we can put those in. All right, but now things get a little bit difficult. A couple of things that I noticed, and... Uh, uh, let me show you a way of using unique rectangles here. We don't really find a number using them, but uh, I thought it was interesting. We've got five, six twins here, the only two numbers left in this column. We could see those even before we finished these numbers because we've got a five and a six there and a five and a six there. So without that four and three, we could have seen these were five and six right there. But then also, we've got a five here and a five here, so we have ghost fives there. So the five in box six here has to go here, here, or here. And then we've got a six there, so one of these is a six. We've got a six right here going through this gate. There's a gate pattern. Again, patterns and techniques are, are out here at sudokuprimer.com. You can learn more about them there. Got a six there, so one of these is a six, and a six here, so one of these is a six. So using double column elimination, we know the six goes here in, uh, in box six also. So we have a five and a six constrained to this column right here. And remember, we just found five and six here, so we know because of unique rectangles, that we cannot put the, the these cannot be five six twins right here. 
we have to have one other number in here and it can't go there. So we know this is a five or a six right there. One of these is a five or a six. So we have five, six twins. We don't know which one it is yet. Because of these five, six twins here, we know these two can't be five or six, five, six twins. So we got a five or a six there. One other number here with the other cell containing five and six. Just wanted to point that out. Um, we'll, we will use um, that right now as we move ahead. Uh, right now we're kind of stuck but there is one place where we can find a couple of numbers and that's these two cells right here. Let's look at this cell right here and see what numbers are missing. Two, six, there's a five and a six there. There's a five there, so that's a, that can't be a five or a six. The five and six are here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we know that's a two. The way we knew that was because of these sixes here in the double column elimination, which constrained the six to this column. Let's look at this one. What are we missing here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We know that's a one. So we found the one and the two there because the five and six are constrained to this column. All right, now what are we missing here? Let's see, four, five, and six. We've got a five and a six there, so that's a four. And so now we have five, six twins there, five, six twins there. We still don't know what other number fits here, but another number has to be in one of these two places. All right, with that four there, we can put a four right here because of those two fours. And we've got a right angle pattern right here with a four there and a four there, so we know that's a four. All right, let's look at box one. We've got a loner cell right there. Uh, and we're in this column here outside of that box, we got a four, six, and seven. We have a four and six there, so we know that's got to be a seven. And then two and three are missing. There's a two there, so we can finish this box. All right, and then there's a one here, one here, so that's a one. All right, now we know now we can solve these one nine twins right here because we've got a one right here going through this gate in this gate pattern and a one here. So the one is constrained to here or here. So that gives us ghost ones there. So that, that has to be the nine. All right, now we've got eight, nine missing here, five, six missing here and one, two missing there. We can't solve any of them, but we'll keep those in mind. All right, and now we've got a one here. What are we missing here? We know these are five and six, or the five and six have to be in, in this box, in this column, in column seven. So we're missing one, two, three, five, six, seven. Three, five, six, seven. Well, I'll Obviously, there's a three missing there because it's the only number in row one that we haven't filled in. So we know these are five, six, and seven. The seven can only go right there. So there are our five, six twins that I talked about earlier. Until now, we didn't know which of the two cells was were the five, six twins. But now we have five, six there, five, six there, five, six there. All right, now we've got a two here, two here, two here, so that's a two. And that makes that a two right there. So that's a one. 
right there. All right, now let's see. Let's look at uh, column five here. We're missing three, five, six, eight. Three, five, six, and eight here. Here's a three and an eight, so that's a five or a six. And we know that's a five or a six because we have five, six twins there. So the three, eight twins are right there. There's a three there, so we can finish those. We also know that's not a nine now. And we got a, well, we got a nine there and a nine there. So that's a nine right there. Whoop. So we put a three in there for some reason. All right. And then we've got a one here, one here. So that's a one. All right, let's look at row seven now. Let's see what we're missing here. One, five, six. There's a five, one or six. There's a one and a six, so that's a five right there. So we're missing one and six. There's a one, so we can put the six in there, the one there. And uh, we got that finished right there, that row. All right, now we have five, six twins there, five, six twins there, five, six twins, five, six twins. There's a five there, so we can finish all those. And we're missing three and six here, so we can complete box five. All right, row nine is only missing two numbers. Five, nine. Five there, so we can finish those. Now we're missing seven and eight there. Six and seven there. We've got a six there, so we can finish those. And with that seven, we can finish the seven and the eight here. All right, now we're missing three, eight, and nine there, and eight and nine there. Three, three, three. So the three goes right there. And all we're missing is an eight and a nine there and there. There's a nine there, so. And that's it. Well, that wasn't too bad. Uh, not a real difficult puzzle, but uh, using the techniques and patterns that I talked about helped us uh, finish that pretty quickly. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy these puzzles um, and solving them without using candidates. I'll see you next week.